Hidden Object Guru here with Haunt New Game Stern, which is, as I understand it, a shooter. Okay, Fortune and Glory, nice. Goes? Do you mean foes? I think you mean foes. Effects and progression, get to cabin expense. Okay! Nice. So up is jump. And do we have controller support? Oh, wait, we do! Nice. Alright, let's try this out, shall we? Okay. Alright, what do I do with the different weapons? Yes, I would like to buy things. Okay, we don't actually have controller support. That's on me. Oh, okay. Is there a different shop I'm supposed to use? Huh, that was weird. So my current goal is to use the shop, but none of the traders are here. Ah, jump. Of course. Nope, nothing there. Well, there we go. Nice. My energy comes back gradually, I assume. You have to, uh... You will attack with your sword in the direction the mouse is as well as the, uh... Okay, that was dangerous. Sir, as well as the gunshot, see? Oh, this feels dangerous. Yep, it was. Okay, not really sure what I could have done there. And that guy said he need backup, so... Oh, that was close. Hey, cool. The energy was trying to get to me. Nice. Careful. Yes. Are you, uh, did I lose most of my health? Yes. Apparently he is level 2. And he has more of these bouncy weapons. I really need my gun to start... Uh, I got a plan. <laughs> Dear developer, maybe stop with this looping thing and just let them magnetically come straight for you, like make them impossible to dodge. Or have them, uh... Ooh, I'd love a grenade. As you can see, this is a beta version of the game still under development. There's time to fix this stuff. So yes, my first note is, maybe when souls are coming to you, you can't miss them, you know? Did you just say my eyes? Did I shoot him in the eyes? Okay, I thought that was going to throw a grenade, but I realized I don't actually know how to do that. That's cute. Whoa! That looked great. That also looked pretty good. Honestly, again, this is someone from play... Who, uh, this is coming from someone who's played a ton of uh, old mouse look shooters back in the day. You know, like... Uh, So the kind of stuff Epic Mega Games would publish back in the 90s before they sold out and became super popular. Okay, that sounded very mean of me. Uh, before they became a real company. Is that better? You know, with Unreal, ironically enough. Because it became a real company. Anyway, I thought that was clever. You could say I was wrong. It says find a grenade zero of ten, but I already found two grenades. What's going on with that? This is a lot of dudes with shields, and I'm very nervous about the prospect of trying to kill them. In a prison? Okay, let's try a grenade. Okay, I thought that it was going to keep rolling towards me. Okay, what about those A to uh, sell? I do not want to sell. Firearm, awesome. Gonna need a better gun soon. What's that? Soar up. Oh, double jump. I've a, I've had a double jump this whole time. Okay, this is probably the wrong way to go. See, the fact that I had to go left to find the door to this area made me think I was supposed to keep going left, but it's now seeming like this is 
This is not the way I was supposed to be going. It just looks great. Stylized. Yeah, like... I even like that he's kind of a small figure on screen and you really have a context for how all of your actions are happening. So many Metroidvanias make you... Oh no, all the bad guys have respawned. I thought I could stab them all. It, um... It didn't work. Like at all. Oh, I got a dive roll, too. A little embarrassed at the moment. Grenadier. The, uh, they don't know that it's spelled Grenadier, which is fine. It's not a popular term. Uh, these days. Fun fact, grenade means uh, pomegranate. Did that heal me? Catch a fish? What? There's fishing in this game? There's fishing in this game. Is there going to be like a tug and I have to press F again to catch the fish? Or is the fact that there's clearly no fish in this polluted reactor water? I find it very strange that my character has a fishing rod. Just like ready to go. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, you, my eyes is just one of the things they see when they get hit. It does hurt, doesn't it? Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, so many games, like... It's quite a move you tried there, buddy. Uh, make you so big, right? Within the world of the game. Oh, I lost all of the yin-yang soul things. I think they're souls. Uh, that I got killing dudes over there. A little embarrassed. Uh, make you so big that you don't really have the context for all the platforming you're doing and the uh, places you're exploring in Metroidvanias. Okay. Uh, energy, radiation, medium energy regeneration, strong energy. Strong, nice. And this is more money from killed enemies, more resources from fishing. Extra jump would be cool. I can't afford any of this, I just realized. Thanks, though. <laughs> to use the vernacular, thanks for thinking about it, though. You know what that's a reference to? Be the first commenter uh, below the video to mention it, and boom, a prize is yours. Just drop in the comment section below the video, along with the time code for where in the video I asked the quiz question, and boom! Video game coming your way. Uh, not any video game, like I have a list of games you can choose from. And if you don't have uh, Steam, well, you can't really participate because they're all Steam games. I've gotten this uh, kind of trouble before. I'm like, free game, and then they're like, I only have a PS4, and I'm like, well, I only have a copy of Chicken Police. They sent two copies of Chicken Police. Can I explain why? I guess they wanted me to give one away. I did like Chicken Police, so I get where they would want me to encourage somebody to play it, but the person who won and only had a PS4 did not want a copy of Chicken Police. Can I explain that? No, because it's a cool game. I mean, you have to like... Uh... Sorry, I got distracted. You have to like... Uh, visual novels and detective games, but if you do, Chicken Police is a pretty solid one. Careful. There. Nope. Stabby, stabby. Whoa, he took all of my health in a single attack. I could say I wasn't expecting that, but I kind of was. Luckily, he can't shoot very high up, so you know. Deer game! Okay, so I've killed these guys again. Well, okay. I've almost killed these guys again. And I guess my question to you is, what am I supposed to do now? Because I got to that next area. And there didn't seem to be any way to, uh... move forward. 
I really like that grenade, everybody. And yet you can still shoot at me particularly, sorry, without any particular difficulty, so... Whoa. Is it sad that after trying to pursue a career as a writer, Darlene and Roseanne ended up working at the exact same uh, chemical plant that her mother used to when she was a child? That's sad, right? I haven't actually seen an episode of The Connors, but I found out that that happened in it, and uh, made me slightly morose. What can I say? Whoa, nice. Like, I'm not saying any of those people were destined for greatness or anything, but, you know. I was about to wonder, is it slightly hypocritical that... I thought that it was an insult to everyone that Will and Grace's return erased to the ending. But I was very happy that uh, Roseanne's return did the same thing. And I realized it's not controversial at all because uh, Will and Grace's ending was actually perfect for the characters and a good way to end the show. And uh, Roseanne's ending was a betrayal of every single part of that same, not the same show, but you know, its show. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I went as far left as I could go, and I went as far right as I could go. Maybe I just have to shoot these doors until they explode. That's probably it, right? Oh, no, I could just hit them. Hey, buddy. Okay, I just murdered a guy in what might have been his own apartment. Uh-oh. Ah, they got me. This whole time I could have slashed the doors. Is it embarrassing I didn't try that? Yes. Also, how do I heal? I'm level 2, but what does that mean within the context of the game? Where are the guys? Nice. I could really use a common SMG. Ooh, 76 space bucks. Don't mind if I do. What do you do with space bucks in this game, though? Let's see it. Oh, that's my jam, everybody. Alright, let's go take the fight to whoever it is that I'm fighting in this game. It's still a beta, so they can add context for this action later. What matters is that it's satisfying mouse look action. See? Look at how cute that looks. Whoa. Let me check my inventory. Okay, you're welcome. We got mutants. I and mean, I assume they're mutants. I have definitely met them. Am I the only one who seems to... Th oh, dang. Dude had a grenade. Not cool, buddy boy. So this is what shouldn't be happening. It's kind of funny to watch. But it's also annoying. Oh, dang. You can't back up while shooting? That's a problem game. Check it out. If I start moving, it automatically turns me around. That's not good design, guys. I thought that was something to pick up. I was being naive. Moody. It's got a good look to it. Loving the gameplay. But again, I'm predisposed to because of fond memories of the genre from the past and a love of this type of game. So I can't duck to make it harder for me to shoot. To them, make it harder for them to shoot me. Took him a while to wake up, huh? Okay, that didn't work. Weirdly difficult to stab dudes. Hey, we're back here! Nice. Can I take their guns? I cannot take their guns. Guess that would have made things a little too easy, huh? So since I leveled up, does that mean I have, like, a skill point and... Oh! 143 yen, which, at last count, is a dollar twenty. Oh, wait, maybe it's a dollar sixty. Is the yen doing better or worse than the Canadian dollar? I mean, obviously better, but how much better? 
That was a lot of zombies. Also, my uh, posing when I do the slashes looks great. See? Nice. Very big fan of this slashy slashing and the uh, submachine gun. Which is a Tech 9. One of the worst guns. And that's not an exaggeration. It's a terrible gun. Jams all the time. Monstrously inaccurate. Awful recoil. Just a badly designed gun in every way a gun can be badly designed. It's uh, only... I was about to say saving grace, but it's not a saving grace. But the only reason it ever sold was that it was very cheap and can easily be converted with a very cheap kit into a fully automatic weapon. So uh, criminals were fond of them. And the company that made them Blanking on the name of that company, but it's not important for the point of the story I'm telling. Uh, really enjoyed that criminals were buying their guns and kind of marketed themselves to criminals. It was quite controversial. Hey, I've got armor. Nice. There it is. Cool. Visible right on my health bar. Very nice game. Very nice indeed. There's nothing else here. I did all that jumping just from some armor. I'm mean, not complaining about the armor, but you know. Weird. So what's going to happen when I complete one of these missions? Is it just like experience points bonus? Or will like something actually happen in the game? God, I hope that stuff doesn't kill me instantly. And I'm hoping not to find out by, you know, never touching it. But ew. By the way, game, can I just say, I can't believe you're starting the game with double jump. Like, that's crazy. I hope this isn't just a... Sorry, I hope... Uh, hmm, 38 space bucks, nice. I hope this isn't just a thing for the beta version to make it a little easier for people to test. I hope that it, you're one of those people uh, who's like, no, double jump makes everything easier. He's getting double jump from day one. You want to play our game here? We appreciate that. Have a double jump. I feel like I'm back in uh, armor. Nice. So as I was saying, I feel like I'm back in uh, another world suddenly. Or out of this world if you're North American. Which I am, but I still call it by the foreign name. Yeah, it's a little hard to use the slashy slashing. Not very hard. Oh my god, five more zombies and we're going to find out what happens when you complete a quest. Unless I fall into lava first. And, well, then you know. I, I die. That's that's what you know, right? You're going to throw a grenade at me. Teleport home? I would love to... Ah! Okay. Made me weirdly happy. I got 28 souls. I'm more than halfway to one of those upgrades, which would make the game a lot easier, I'm guessing. Lots of uh, lockers with nothing in them, aren't there? An orange? Oh, finally, something that recovers hit point. Thank you. Is that it for down here? I think that might be it for down here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything over there. Alright, let's head back. Do you think the zombies will respawn the way the uh, army guys did? You know, the firework shooters, those weirdos? Yep, there they are. Yeah, okay, so here's the issue. The stepping forward would keep, like, carrying me through the zombie that I'm slashing, and it doesn't knock him back at all, so the second hit always misses. I guess I just have to be more careful with the slashing. Point blank with a submachine gun. Now that's the way the cookie crumbles. Seriously, though, do I not get skill points or something with this level 3 nonsense? Like, what's the level 3 about? I have the same amount of energy. I have the same amount of uh, hit points. What does leveling up mean in this context? Look, I killed enough zombies, and that's when I got the experience point bonus necessary to uh, pass a level. That looked very cool. Also, I know it's been a long time that we've had this ability. But I'm still not over how great uh, ragdolling corpses looks in video games. 
I think it just looks stellar. Beautiful effect. I would like more health. Thank you for asking, Mr. Orange. Mr. Banana. At Al. So, completely unrelated question. Did the my friend Pedro people approach the Deadpool people and say, we've got this game that would probably make more sense as a Deadpool game? Okay, let's run away from that. The bullets were literally bouncing back at me. I will try to slash him once. Okay, I might not be able to deal with this at the moment. Oh, slashing does work on him. Forget it. I would hope. 43. Oh my god, seven more and we get one of the upgrades. Kablamo. Seriously, though, and this is the thing that's going to stick with me. Why? Why? Sorry for uh, getting distracted there by murder. Is it so hard to find some way to heal in this game? Two more. I need two more zombies. They're on the way, right? Damn. Guys, I know. I need one more zombie. Oh, that's so ridiculous. But yeah, like ragdolling looks great. The gunfighting is weirdly satisfying. I mean, it's taken me a while to get used to the controls, but honestly, that ain't much of a complaint. You can't throw a grenade while you're jumping, by the way. In case you're wondering, that is what I was trying to do. And there's my 50 points. Boop. Let's go claim an upgrade. And I get a big experience point boost for using a shop. I mean, I hope it's a boost. Mouse looks shooting, people. It's the bee's knees. Okay, so more coins. Nope. Extra jump. Nope. A third jump would be nice, but you know. Souls do not fly out. That's useful. Okay... HP regeneration. That's the bee's knees, baby. Look at how fast I'm reloading. Oh, yeah. Let's take these clowns on. I'm ready for this. Sad that there was no way to, in a, like a Souls-like fashion, get your uh, souls back after you die. Okay, those guys have a lot of health, and I'm dead. My attempt to charge into the Valley of Death immediately and just... Conquer uh, has been met with a sharp dose of reality and uh, instant death on my part. So, yay. Uh, lesson learned. Or was it? It doesn't seem to be. A, I didn't seem to have learned that lesson now. So, what point will they open a shop where I can buy health items? Because nobody ever drops any. So, what? Whoa. I was more comfortable fighting zombies. So if I press C, is there like a character sheet where I can... No? Okay. I was hoping I would like stumble into finding out how to upgrade my character. But it... Like, maybe the souls are the only way to do that. But if that's the case, what's the point of the level system? Are guns leveled? Is that it? Uh, energy cost, damage, rate of fire... Oh, that's weird. I just realized that this fires... Uh, so 4.5 versus 1. So this is 10 shots per second, and this is a little more than 2 shots per second. But it does 5 times as much damage, so technically the damage per second output for this thing is better. What are you doing? Killing me. Was that not clear? I thought that was clear. This is where I was earlier, right? Oh, 246. I'm almost dead. 246. Hey, buddy. This is where I was earlier, and I killed the shield guy. I, I think this is... It looks very similar, is what I'm saying. Uh, 
Yeah, there's the zombies. Look. 247. So every time I kill a guy, I get a little bit of money, right? Yeah, 248. You do. I really like that machine pistol, but okay, I see why the Magnum is the better choice. You know, this is such a ridiculous thing to complain about, but I genuinely don't like having to calculate DPS. And I don't like having to think... Okay, now he's back. Okay, time to go. Uh, I jumped while I was lying on the ground, everybody. Time to go. I don't know how I didn't die there, but I'm very proud of myself. Can we please teleport out of here? Yes, we can. Wow. Would you sell me some food? Alright, so, uh, developers, some thoughts. Like I said, loving the gameplay. I like genuinely just having a great time with the gameplay, as you can see. Once I figured out you can knock doors open, obviously things started going a lot better, but, you know, generally, this thing is just solid as hell. Um, I just wish it was clear how I was supposed to start... Uh, careful. Like, what, do level, what does leveling up mean? And could you make it slightly easier to get food? Like, not a lot, not a ton easier. It doesn't have to be like every guy's dropping uh, food all over the... Oh, this is the tutorial area. So going left was a mistake. Apparently I have a kick. Cool. That is an awesome as hell car. Finally. I can't afford any of that. Are you insane? That's... The price of that is ridiculous. Well, at least I found some money. That hurts. 352. That hurts. 3.54. Wow, they give you almost no money. I see why people would want to upgrade that. 3.56, and it was 4.50 for any of the food. Is that is that correct? 4.50. Bah. Fie, I say. Fie upon you and your ilk. It's pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you used duct tape to heal yourself! And then I died. Alright, well, lesson learned. Anyway, uh, this is a blast. I'd love to see the finished version. I look forward to hearing that it's been updated, and honestly, just a solid game all around. Alright, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more of this, buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. I'm going to see you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, I'm going to say au revoir.